He was drafted number one overall in the 2007 NBA draft ahead of Kevin Durant. Whatever happened to Greg Oden? Coming out of high school in Indianapolis, Indiana for the class of 2006, Oden was a highly touted prospect. According to 24-7 Sports, he was literally ranked as a perfect prospect across the board. He was the number one player in the state of Indiana, the number one center in that class, and the number one player in the entire class of 2006. Yeah, he had some hype. And with that hype coming out of high school, he garnered off from Wake Forest, North Carolina, Michigan State, Indiana, and of course, Ohio State, where he would commit, attend, and play basketball. But with that said, upon arrival at Ohio State, the hype would have to wait. Odin had to get surgery to repair a ligament that he injured during his senior year of high school and sat on the Ohio State bench during the beginning of the 2006-2007 season. That being said, he would make his college debut on December 2nd of 2006. Coming off the bench, he would finish with 14 points, 10 rebounds, and 6 blocks, to which Coach Steve Kerr would describe him as a once-in-a-decade player. And throughout the rest of the year with the Buckeyes, he would thrive on the basketball court. In 32 games, he nearly averaged a double-double, averaging about 16 points per game, 9.6 rebounds, and 3 blocks. He was named as a consensus second-team All-American, first-team All-Big Ten, the Big Ten Freshman of the Year, and was awarded the Pete Newell Big Man Award. The list of accolades went on and on in college. And with that said, on April 20th, 2007, Odin would announce he would enter the 2007 NBA Draft. And with the Portland Trailblazers having the number one pick, it was really between him and Texas star Kevin Durant. But as history writes itself, the Blazers would choose Greg Oden number one overall in the 2007 NBA Draft. But in something that seems like history repeats itself, the hype would have to wait. Oden had microfracture surgery on his ailing right knee and would miss his entire rookie season. And unfortunately, as many of you already know, these injuries would persist throughout his entire NBA NBA career. But finally, during the 2008-2009 season, he stayed relatively healthy and played 61 games. He would average about 9 points per game and 7 rebounds and showed some signs of greatness. He certainly did. And then the subsequent year for the 2009-2010 season, he only played 21 games, as again, the injuries kept persisting. That being said, he would actually improve, averaging about 11 points per game, 8.5 rebounds, and 2 blocks. In fact, I'm actually from Portland, and I attended a game where he had 20 points and 12 rebounds and looked truly phenomenal. I mean, he carried the team to the win that day. But once again, in November of 2010, the Portland Trailblazers would announce he'd have microfracture surgery on his left knee, ending his 2010-2011 season. And this injury marked Odin's third NBA season cut short by a knee injury. And once again, this would happen in the subsequent season of 2011-2012. By March 15th of 2012, the Blazers organization had waived Greg Odin. With that being said, it was actually pretty much immediate that multiple teams were interested in signing the big man. And in August of 2013, he would sign a one-year deal with the Miami Heat, but would play in 23 games, averaging about three points per game and two rebounds. And that would mark the end of Greg Oden's time in the NBA. In 2015, he then reportedly worked out for the Memphis Grizzlies, but nothing materialized. He then proceeded to have workouts with the Charlotte Hornets, the Dallas Mavericks, before finally signing a $1.2 million deal with the Dragons of the CBA, the Chinese Basketball Association, where he would actually kind of ball out. In the game on December 9th, he recorded 22 points and 14 rebounds. He was then actually briefly hired by the Ohio State men's basketball team as a student manager. And speaking of Ohio State, Odin would actually graduate with a bachelor's degree in sport industry. He would then join the Educor Sports and Entertainment team as an athlete advisor, before finally here in 2022 joining Butler University as the director of basketball operations.